Spanish Lotus for InsideTrackNews.com. We're here speaking with uh, 2014 Barry Speedway Rookie of the Year contender in the Thundercar Division, Mr. Jordan Latimer, third generation driver. And Jordan, let's talk about 2014, my friend, because I know it, it started out real well. You had a lot of really good finishes, had a couple of top fives early on in the year, but unfortunately, the last three weeks, you've hit a stumbling patch, you've hit a rough spot, uh, just stuff that you can't really avoid, uh, but I, I'm sure that this whole act of, of getting this car torn up week after week is, is starting to get pretty old for this team. Yeah, it is. Uh, the first couple weeks were great, and then uh, last week was all right till the feature. We got our first heat win last week, so it seems to be okay till feature time comes around this season, and then that's when all hell breaks loose, and it just kind of, everything kind of goes downhill from there, but other than that, the, t the two heats in the beginning of the day, those are basically the good parts of our uh, evening, and then feature time just kind of goes downhill and we get wrecked. I know that you guys have combated some brake issues all, almost all season now. Uh, the team has sort of come together to, to sort of rectify those issues. Has it impressed you how well this Ridge Road Racing Team really works together at the Speedway? Oh, it is. Like, like you said, the brake issue, as soon as that happened, Gordy was right on top of it. He won new brakes, new pads, new rotors, anything to help it get fixed. Uh, we ended up putting new race ro or race uh, pads on it. And since then, the car has been fine with brakes. Like anything that I tell Gordy that there's something wrong, maybe with the car, uh, as soon as I say that, then he jumps right on it and he gets his crew to jump right on it. Everyone pitches in to help fix it. Now I know that Gord Shepard has, has, is, is obviously the car owner, the team owner. He's also acting as a driver coach for you as well at practice, uh, on race day. What are some of the best pieces of advice that he's been able to offer you so far this year? Uh, just to kind of keep my cool in the race once everyone starts jumping out everywhere. Like uh, practice. I don't know how he fit in my seat, but he's been in my seat a couple times. <laughs> and he took it out for practice, and uh, it doesn't it doesn't seem... Some people think it's just kind of me, and I kind of think it's me too, but he got in the car, and he did the exact same lot of times as I did. So he's really worried on trying to get the car to hook and trying to get it to handle because he doesn't like the way it's handling either. Now, I know that the, the, the car itself, the chassis itself, underwent some pretty major changes yeah. over the off-season. Is that really what it is that the team's sort of trying to get up to speed with what's essentially uh, a new car? Because the whole front-end geometry of this car is completely different from, from where it was the last several seasons. Well, yeah, everyone's trying, we're still trying to figure out how this car's working. Really, it's really the only main thing that's uh, the same last year is the roll cage. Everything else, we are still trying to get figured out how it works, uh, how we can get it set up to go through the corner. That's mainly that's the main thing. It will we can get it going into the corner, but we can't get it coming off. And if we get it coming off, we can't go get it going in. So we still have to figure that out. Now I know heading into the year, rookie of the year was, was your number one goal. Uh, obviously to come out and have the, the start of the season that you did, first three weeks, so it was phenomenal. Now that you've hit the, the rough patch, is the goal still to, to make a hard charge for that rookie of the year title? Oh yeah, it's always been that. The last week we actually had the car hooking up pretty good in that second heat. And then it was good until the, we got in an accident in the future. I think we're starting to now figure out how this car is going to work and how we how to set it up. So we're going to practice Thursday and hopefully we can get it so it'll go around the track much faster and it'll be better. Now I know that your, your father Jason's been so hands on with this program and he wants to help you develop as a driver, not just at Barry but outside of, uh, yeah. of Barry Speedway as well. What's the schedule looking like? What other speedways are you hoping to hit? Well, we're at sunset now, so we're gonna run tonight, and then uh, Kortha, if we get, if we, the plan was if we can get the car to hook at Barry and run good, and we can come home with no damage, then we'll head out to Kortha the next week and maybe run. That was our plan this week, but uh, last week wasn't so well at Barry. So uh, we'll, we'll be at maybe Peterborough, we'll come back to sunset probably, and Barry and Kortha. Well, I know it's not possible, a load of support. Thank the folks that make this possible for you. Uh, Creature Designs, Get Jack Remax, Kitchen Tire, uh, Kicks 106 in the Dock, uh, AC Electric, Cougar Electric, TC, TNC Construction, and Cookstown Auto and Rec Center. There you go, folks. Check them out on Facebook. The Facebook group is JL Motorsports. On Twitter, it's Lat at Latimer Jordan. Is that right? Yeah. All right, I was waiting for a nod. Yeah, yeah. at Latimer Jordan on Twitter. <laughs> Check him out. I mean, he's always posting behind the scenes photos and stuff as they work on this car. And I mean, remember the name. Jordan Latimer is going to be a big deal at Barry Speedway for a lot of years in the Thunder Car Division. Jordan, thank you for the time, my friend. All the best in 2014. We'll definitely check back in with you. All right, thank you. All right, take it easy.